Many times when we get to the control phase, what we'd like to do is restrict performance within a certain boundary or, or limitations, if you will, of a performance measure. And so there's a simple, you could call it a trick, maybe in your language as a more modern language, you might call it a hack, okay? And this is about statistical tolerance analysis. Now you can do lots of things in statistical tolerance analysis, but I just want to share with you a particular trick that's helpful in Minitab. And so the Minitab trick we will talk about, we have talked about actually, uh, regression analysis. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how do I actually create a control mechanism when I have two different things. I maybe have two different performance variables. So here I have a, one performance variable of interest. Maybe it's an input and maybe I have an output. And what I can do is I can do a regression analysis using the fitted line plot and compare the two and create a linear fit. And if I do that in Minitab, what I can also do is I can then select the confidence intervals and the prediction bands. Now, the prediction bands are themselves talking about how closely the performance is going to be operating. Those bands, the confidence intervals for the regression line and the prediction intervals for individual observations, are talking about what the 95% expectation is for performance. So, if we plot those bands and we display the prediction band, which is for the individual data items, what we can do is we can take a look at the line. So, we can draw the best fit line, execute it in Minitab as a fitted line plot, and then start saying, okay, what is the effect I would like to have? And as we do this, what we can see is I can go either from the input to the output, or reverse it from the output to the input. So if I know the output bands I'd like to have in terms of performance, I can take the higher level of the output, take it over to the top level of the 95% prediction interval, and then drop down and I say, that's the upper level of the input measure. If I take the bottom level of that output and I bring it down to the bottom level of the 95% prediction interval, then I drop that line down, that is the bottom level of the performance band. So that says the input tolerance is between these two numbers, and that will give us a 95% probability of being able to reach this output band of performance. That's pretty simple, isn't it? It is. But as long as you have a linear function, it will work. Or if you have a function that operates in a near linear band in the area of interest, it will work. So it's a short hack for you to take a look at. Otherwise, what I would recommend is most of the confidence intervals that you want to have in the physics world can be done in software systems, like in a CAD-CAM system, or in mechanical engineering, or electrical engineering. Use those algorithms. If you want to have performance, though, for human beings, or performance for process steps, you can use this one simple hack to be able to get a good expectation for what should be the limits of performance for an output measure of a process.